sound. Any, like clipping. <laughs> yeah, quick sound check. I think that we should put that in. <laughs> I sound fine, right? Yeah, you you sound fine. <laughs> you sound good. On on Discord, anyways. Uh huh. That's good. I actually turned down the bit rate too, so as long as, like theoretically, that would make me sound a little worse, at least on Discord. But it'll speed up the the talking, I guess. Uh, I guess. I don't, know. I don't know how audio works. It's it's <laughs> not like I've been making chiptune music for about seven plus years. You know, a, a year I ago I didn't how audio know how anything mixing. worked. <laughs> it's weird. It's funky. All right, do you want to count down? Do do the do the yeah. funny clap. Yeah, let's do a funny clap. Uh, who's gonna count down? It's just three, two, one, like that. All right, three, two, one. Sweet. That was way off for me. Let's figure this out. But uh, I'll, I'll arrange it in post. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi. This is the A Bit of Chiptune podcast, and we're back. This is kind of like a season two, as I have said before, off recording, because I'm off of school again. Because why? Because I'm off of school again, mm. which means that I can dedicate a lot of time to a bit of chiptune. And yeah, spring, summer, fun. Everything's going to be changing for the better, hopefully. <laughs> um, we've got a new guest on the podcast. Hey. Hi. This is Jack. Jack, tell me about yourself. Uh, I'm a rat. That's right. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I haven't done this in so long. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I'm a chiptune artist uh, and local furry uh, from uh, New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. uh, chiptune metal artist who's Ooh. been uh, featured on a lot of uh, compilations over the past two years. I released an album last year. Called Meme Sendent. Uh, check that out, I guess. Is it full of memes? It's alright. <laughs> it's alright? <laughs> it's alright. Alright, uh, I'll check it out. Yeah, it's on Spotify, iTunes, uh, Google Play, I guess. <laughs> you know, all, all the fun stuff. And also on Bandcamp. Oh, sweet. www.jackmouse, spelled... J A K K M A U five dot bandcamp dot com. You know, it's really rare, I think, just like to find someone's chiptune releases like everywhere. I guess, like just comparatively compared to like other genres, it's really hard to find like the the top chiptune releases yeah. on your like Spotify and your Apple Music. It's. I I think the way to think about it is that. The more spread out your release is, the more people will be likely to see it and whatnot. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's the, that's the best way I can describe it, really. Mm -hmm. I think for me also, just like most of the people who are listening to, for example, RXX on Spotify, not Bandcamp, because, you know, that's the thing. And, uh, I don't know, it just, like, lets people listen to it if they aren't a Bandcamp person, because, uh, not everybody's a Bandcamp person. Speaking of which, uh, Marshmallow Bits should be, uh, coming out pretty soon on Spotify, too, right? Yep. Eventually. <laughs> we will see. Um, I've been working on a lot. And that should be coming out soon, and it'll be an announcement. I also need to work on, um, because you know how Sandra, er, eh, 
you know how sound drop has those name things where you have to like get everybody's name like the right capitalization or whatever yeah i i want to make sure i do everyone justice because rxx was released like with some of the names butchered a little bit just because of like i was trying to get it out at the same time as the release party sound drop was really weird for me uh funny story because when i was releasing my first very first album under this name for anybody who is curious or guess don't really know uh i used to make music as jk lull and some people might recognize that name from uh chiptunes equals win volume four um Oh, yeah. You said earlier you did, like, a whole rebranding at some point. I did. Uh, funny enough, uh, with J.K. Lull, it was a lot of... Uh, it, it, there was a story tied to it. Uh-huh. And near the end of it, I was just... I don't know. I guess I just kind of got tired, you know? Uh... I, I kind of put myself in this creative rut after, you know, f four big album releases mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Um, so that happened. Uh, and then I think it was like I took I took about a year break, released like a smaller album, like while I was uh, while I was in, I guess, this hiatus state. And whatnot. Yeah. And then last year rolls around. I release meme sentence. Get on. Um, I get on uh, desk pop and uh, desk pop equals chip win. I get on tracked cross chip win. Uh, I'm also part of chip music heroes, which that is also. Uh, you know, I made a couple of songs for that as well. Um, and now we're here. Yeah, I mean, you just describe it like you're on high is, but it still sounds pretty busy. <laughs> yeah. It. It was. It was less. You know. It was less doing music because I felt like I had to release something. Mm hmm And just doing music because I wanted to make something. If that makes oh, sense. Oh, that's. Yeah. That's um, kind of. Awesome. Still, like, and I, and I mean, like every every bit of like so every song that I make and everything like has the same amount of love just ham fisted into it. But uh, <laughs> you know, it's um, you know, it's really it's it's really therapeutic for me. I find you know making music in my downtime from drawing commissions for furries. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> right, right. I get that. Is that like... I don't know, there's like a lot of untapped conversations when it comes to drawing... <laughs> drawing commissions for furries, but I don't even I know mean, where to start. <laughs> I mean, literally ask any question, I am an open book. Okay, I mean, I don't know, I just don't like... I've I've really just known one person who was like a furry. Ninety percent of it porn. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I've seen them on the internet. I'm just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've seen it. You know. Everybody knows at this point. Yeah. 2019, the year of everybody getting a government assigned furry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everybody's becoming a furry now, and it's great. <laughs> mm -hmm. When when I said like I knew a furry, I meant like like an IRL person. I meant like I like knew this person at a camp or whatever, and we were cool friends. And it's just like, oh, look, you're a furry. Fun. That's that's the funny thing about <laughs> yeah. it is that like you, it's so weird to think that like back then there was just such a stigma about furries, you know, like. That they were just, you know, the weirdest, you know, cringiest people on the planet. But you don't even know, like, your your neighbor could be a furry. And you would never know. Mm -hmm. 
Your Absolutely. best friend from down the st- <laughs> your best friend down the street could be a furry, and you'd never know. Everyone on my block could be a furry. I'd be cool with that. <laughs> block could be a furry. I'm, I said everybody on my block. A fucking yeah. Uh, and like, I'd say like the chiptune community, we have a lot of furries. Man. Uh, I wonder if I made a Discord channel and called it Furries and just be like, hey, if you're a furry, feel free to join this. And then just, like, everybody (laughs) comes in and is like, (laughs) puts their fursona on there. And then then you start marking them off, all right, banning you, banning (laughs) you, definitely banning you. It's just a system to get rid of the furries. (laughs) But yeah, uh, Chrono Wolf, uh, he's a furry, or they are a furry. Uh, mm-hmm. Really, really awesome person. Uh, Fuzzy Proxy, also uh, resident gay and furry. Um, well, of course, Fuzzy <laughs> Proxy. <laughs> uh, I believe Nanode's a furry. Same Nano? here. Ooh. Um, has done a couple of things with Game Chops and whatnot. Yeah, uh, I re- I've, I've heard of him. I, I remember, um, funny enough, when I was J.K. Lol, we first met at MAGFest. He wasn't called Nanode originally. He had another name. And I can't remember exactly what it was. But yeah. he, uh, he filmed my first, uh, he filmed my first chiptune show. And I filmed Ooh. his first chiptune show. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Yeah. I haven't it's actually, so like, I haven't, not only have I not performed live, but I don't even think I've been at a, like, chiptune live performance, which I should have by now. But I really did just, like, start getting into the community, like, last year when this whole thing started. Yeah. Magfest is a wonderful place to get into mm-hmm. the chiptune community. Because almost everybody who's a chiptune artist goes to MAGFest every year. Right. Uh, Sometimes they'll go to PAX East. Uh, Sometimes they'll just have shows around their local area or whatnot. I know I do shows sometimes in Boston and, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But it, it really is like... I wouldn't say it's a close community, but it's a very close family-like community. Yeah, that's true. You know, every, I've noticed that. Everybody's supporting one another in their own, you know, special way. I'm whether already me, so ready for... Uh, <laughs> whether it's me, you know, buying, you know, a friend of mine's album, or Glenn Ty and me collaborate on a song together... You know, mm-hmm. stuff like that. And it's and it's really cool. You know? Yeah. I mean, I'm already so excited for next year's MAGFest, even though it's like half a year away. <laughs> um, Were you at MAGFest this year? I was not, but that was only because it was my first time actually, like, being involved with the chiptune community. So, like, uh... yeah. And also just, like, I didn't, prepare for it yeah always um, go to magfest yeah there's no excuse siva gunners there but like <laughs> this year i already know like who i'm going with and like i'm trying to figure out how to get there and all the <laughs> yeah it, <laughs> intricacies. It's, it's always nice to go to magfest with a crew yeah just get like seven eight people get that special badge discount you know Ooh. I didn't know I you could do bo- that. I, I wouldn't bother uh, trying to book a room at the ho- at the uh, at the convention area mm-hmm. because that just gets filled up super quick, and you're not gonna get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, it's better to just uh, get a get a space in like Alexandria or something like that, and then um, just get a car and uh, drive the way over. Yeah. If it comes to it, sleep in the car. Who knows? Uh, no. Don't sleep in the um, car. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know. You gotta do what you gotta do. 
you, you need to draw furries, you're gonna draw furries. It, you know, hey, to get to furry, Magfest. Drawing the furries <laughs> pays the bills. That's what I mean. <laughs> it's uh, it's the it's the only reason why I'm able to uh, to do what I do. Funny enough, the music actually funds the art, and the art actually funds the music. I I had this vicious cycle. Of monetary <laughs> gain going back and forth. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. And, and, and that is... I, I remember... I remember a long time ago, somebody asked me... Um, somebody asked me... Cat? Sorry, there's a cat in the background. You can cut this Ooh. bit out. Cleo. I love cats. Cleo? Cleo? Yes, I hear you. Don't be That's a such a great name for your cat. My grandparents have a cat named Cleo. Cleo, come here. Aww. Don't be a butthead. You leave my Ash Ketchum hat alone. Aww. You stinky cat. Cleo just wants to be a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> Chip tune. This is about chip tunes. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I got to know a little bit about you and your chip tune history and your art life, and we talked a little bit about furries. Yeah, um, furries. Yeah. The best. So, I'm curious. What are you working on right now? Uh, what has the past like few months been like for you? Well. Funny you should ask. Uh, we have a new album. We have an al- album. We have a new album coming out this Friday. You should already what? know this because you're publishing it. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know about this. Chip Mix Volume One. What? <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. It's an entire cover album. It's not like Chip oh Tune Artists haven't been doing that before in order to get more monetary gains. Yay! No, <laughs> that's never happened before. <laughs> but yeah, that's the thing that's happening. Uh, nice. Yeah, I'm excited. Listening pro- uh, party will probably be done through you. You'll probably mm-hmm. do something with that. I'll do my best. Yeah, I'll be reaching out to people's. Yeah, you'll, you'll announce it. Because, uh, uh <clears throat> PAX means we can't fall back to Geek Beat Radio. Yeah, we can. Probably. Because Rob's gonna yeah. be super busy. And I didn't think about that because I thought PAX East was in April. <laughs> well, Rob's gonna be having the time of his life. And, uh... We're going to be having the time of our lives releasing it out. I'll, I'll be sitting here it's twiddling gonna be my thumbs being like, I wish I was at PAX. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play Samurai Showdown. <laughs> I want to see what Border Thre- uh, I want to see what Borderlands 3 looks like. <laughs> Man, you know, I, sh- I wish I knew PAX was this week too, because this is like the week that I don't have work also. So like, I should have just went to PAX. If only those weekend passes weren't stupid crazy. Penny Arcade, if you fucking hear this somehow, if somebody sends this to you, lower your fucking prices, please. (laughs) Boston is literally a two and a half drive away from where I live. Please let me come and not break the bank. So I can enjoy the weekend at PAX East. Please and thank you. You should send this to Penny Arcade. You should send, tweet at them. <laughs> tweet at the Penny Arcade. If you're at hearing Penny this Arcade, in the recording, lower your prices. Anybody who's hearing this in the recording, 
<laughs> send them the timestamp of whatever video or you know Twitch highlight or whatever this is gonna be. Send them this clip exactly. <laughs> Just add them. Just be like, hey, lower your prices, please. <laughs> I understand that a lot of big game developers go there every year, but please! <laughs> I just want to play my video games before they come out. Speaking of, are you, like, planning to perform live anytime soon? I know that, like, we were talking about that a little bit. I'm just, like, curious. Not anything... That's planned currently. Got um, it. You know, funny enough, I can always just ask somebody, be like, hey, do you want to plan a show like three months in advance from now, like somewhere in Boston? And they'll be like, yeah, I'll hook you up. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, Biff LeCoop of uh, TriHeart, um, he, he is a guy who can, you know, can get you shows and stuff in Boston. He's he's your guy. Um, he's an awesome violinist, too. Uh, but Tryheart, great group. Uh, Diamond Armada, uh, Biffle Cup, and their, uh, Chris, their uh, lead vocalist. It's a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty insane trio. And mm-hmm. they um, they usually play shows a lot. They're always at Magfest. They're always at Pax East. I've seen them play a lot, and I, I just I, I I love their stuff. They they have a lot of banger tracks. <laughs> I'll take a listen to that too. Mm. Hmm. After this, I guess this is going to be you sending me a lot of music that I haven't heard. I guess. <laughs> yeah. I'll we'll probably um, put some in the Frank podcast Glentai. too. Mm-hmm. He's, he's a good friend of mine. We've made a lot of music together. He might help me make something in the near future. Ooh. Yeah. Is that a hint? Hint. <laughs> um. But uh. Yeah. You. I'm noticing like oh, I'm people just don't know what to do to get live shows and that kind of includes me like what what process and then it's just like you got to know a guy it's, it's, it's literally just you got to know a guy yeah um another artist that i know um uh graz graz core coolest dude mm-hmm. in the world he actually played at magfest this year he played a remix that uh he played a remix of one of my songs in his set, which is the coolest fucking thing in the world, because that technically means I played at main stage. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah. you know, we've, we've talked about, you know, me playing shows in Seattle and stuff like that, too. Uh, and hopefully... That will one day, you know, get off the ground and, you know, whatnot. Uh. But, um, yeah, the chiptune community is great. Especially if you want to get mm-hmm. into live shows and whatnot. You just got to know a guy. Kind of. <laughs> e- everybody knows at least one variant of Rainbow Dragon Eyes. That they can just, hey, can you hook me up with a live show? Sure, fuck it. (laughs) You know? Yeah, I was thinking, like, um, I might want to do, like, a process where I just, like, like, I've been, I've been, like, getting some connections with, like, different people, but just sort of, like, going through releases and looking for patterns and just being, like, hmm. These people are contributing to a lot of things, or like these, I don't know, like just like getting some data and like seeing what is going on with these releases might be the, helpful. It might also just be helpful, like creating news yeah. for like podcasts and stuff. Yeah. So I might be doing that, just like gathering data on different 
hot releases. I've been um, working at a company, which I can't say the name of because I'm not supposed to be talking about their business practices, so I'm just not going to say their name. But, Blizzard. Like, <laughs> yeah, I've been working with uh, Lizard Studios uh, sound Beth design. Beth Esda with they... Bob Coward. <laughs> <laughs> the Cowardice Hisses Studios, I've been working with <laughs> the Coward Lizards on um, just, like, post-audio design and stuff. And, like, my job is basically to just, like, look at um, certain events and, like, finding all the people who, like, contributed and did what and what agency was in charge of. Like, it's basically commercial shots. Um, and I just realized... I'm realizing slowly how helpful that is because you can kind of just be like, hey, um, you were involved with this, um, and I want to talk to you. I don't know. Yeah. I'll figure it out. Just, um, uh, knowing, also just knowing a dude who's in the chiptune community who's a really good sound designer is ooh. also really good. Like, mm-hmm. you got, uh, obviously DJ Cutman. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, he's mastered a track of mine Like a long time ago um, he, How'd that go? Uh, then there was also um, Steamage, who is uh, the chiptunes equals win guy For mixing and mastering stuff um, mm-hmm. You know, a lot of great people you know, if you ever need stuff mastered or whatnot, uh, email them. Give them your money. <laughs> fund the chip to the community so yeah. they can come back and fund me. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's just sending each other money in the chip team community. That, that is the funniest. That's how it works. That's the funniest thing because like Getting money in the chiptune community is like passing around the same $20 bill that's been passed around the community for like 10 years. Honestly. <laughs> it's like how your um your art funds your music and your music funds your art. Right. It's just <laughs> It's 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 really funny to be honest. Mm-hmm. Um but it's also like it also further drives the the idea that um you know, the chiptune community is a family. First right. and, first and, you know, foremost. Um, mm-hmm. We always care about each other. And, like, you know... I, yeah. I, I've said it before, but get to know me well enough. I'll call you I'll call you my brother or sister. I don't give a fuck. Ooh. Funs. Pitter patter of steps. Yeah, I, I'm in a weird situation now, or just, like, new situation, where people are like, hey, where do I send you money? And I'm like, uh, I've never dealt with this before. <laughs> because, like, they're like, oh, you mastered my track, or, oh, you, like, did all this stuff with my video, I want to pay you. And I'm like, oh, let me just uh, see what I can do here. Uh... Yeah. I mean, I'll figure that out. I don't need advice, but it's just very new to me. <laughs> and, like, I never experienced that before. Yeah. You can cut this bit from the the podcast, but I'm going to suggest make a Patreon. Mm -hmm. Do a Chip Wins. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, no. Make a Patreon now before May rolls around. Because they got that whole Patreon pro thing, whatever. You know? Mm -hmm. Do it now before they start stealing money from you. Oh, what does that... (laughs) Uh, <laughs> what do you mean by that? So, if people f- who had signed up to Patreon before May decides to sign up, uh, they will get the basic uh, the Patreon Pro thing that they're doing, you know, shit like mm-hmm. that. People afterwards, uh, they're going to get the... If they wanted the Patreon Pro, they're just going to take more money out of your uh your monthly uh salary or whatnot got it for um you know from when you get patrons and whatnot all right so do that well, now Actually, it's no, march it. leave that in so. do this now if you want to get on patreon please do not fuck yeah. yourself over 
I do know I made Otherwise, a um don't use a Patreon, Patreon for a bit of chip. <laughs> I do know I made a Patreon for a bit of chip tune. I just haven't like done anything with it yet because I know that yeah, like it, it like kept telling me um oh yeah you want to make a video and you need all these tiers and like I just had other things to work on yeah, at the time really so it was like I'm gonna do this later. <laughs> Look at me. Right. I, I like I I made on my Patreon I have like four small tiers. Um uh, mm-hmm. you know, one dollar people they get, you know, drawing uh, they get like Patreon exclusive drawings and early uh releases of albums early. Which by mm-hmm. the way, if you're on my Patreon <laughs> Uh, the the new album is out right now. You should Ooh. you should buy that. You, you should get on my Patreon, patreon.com slash Jack If you want the album now. If you, if you really can't wait for the album. You know, get it get it. Yeah, now. if you really can't wait, if you gotta get that album. You gotta get that album. It's only it's only one dollar. Do what you gotta do. So you, and what you gotta do is go on Jack's Patreon. And hit Get that $1 album. tier. <laughs> Get my album. Please be aware that there will be porn on that patron every once in a while. <laughs> so if you are not 18 and above, don't come on my Patreon. But please come on to my Patreon, please. <laughs> I need to pay rent. You gotta pay rent. I gotta pay rent. Todd Howard is holding me captive and he's asking for money. He wants me to buy Skyrim again. <laughs> this whole podcast is just, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta, I gotta do what I gotta do. Yeah. You know, speaking of art, I did, uh, I did draw the art for Marshmallow Bits. You did? That was, thank you. That was awesome. Uh, I was just like, hey, I need the money. <laughs> I was like, hey, I need the art. And then we got together and we did the exchange. And that's that's how you do it. That's how you get things done. In the chiptune community. We, send each other money. We <laughs> might do that again for Muscle Wizards. We'll, we'll we see. might. That would Speaking be Speaking of which, let's talk about Muscle Wizards. Ooh, that segue. Yeah. You get started on your track? Uh... You, you already heard um, the oh, opening yeah. portion. I decided, you know what? I don't know how to keep. Uh, I don't know how to keep the song going from there. So I just said, uh, you know what? That's where the song ends. That's where the opening ends. <laughs> yeah. And then um, this is, this will be this will be funny because. Um, I'm making two tracks for Muscle Wizards. Ooh. I am doing the opening and... Would you call it an an ending track? Or would you call it uh, a... Um, or would you call it a boning track, bonus track? I would call it the end track of the album. Okay. I mean, like, is it like the credits? So, you know how Shovel Knight it had its main theme, and then the ending, like, credits theme was, like, the same as the main theme, but had different mm-hmm. variations of chords and whatnot? Yeah. Sort of like that. Ooh. Except it'll have lyrics. Cool. Ah, yeah. sweet. A- another thing that's very rare, <laughs> chip tune with lyrics. We need more of that. Thank you, Jack, for contributing. <laughs> Blame Rainbow Dragon Eyes. <laughs> it's funny. Um, when I was originally starting out as Jack, I didn't know exactly um, what I wanted to be as a um, as a chip tune artist. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm I'm sure you're aware of Joji, Filthy Frank, Pink Guy, stuff like that, right? Um, I'm not actually. <laughs> oh, listen to Joji. His music's great. Um, 
But, um... Uh... But, um... You know, Joji, um... Joji has sort of, like, lo-fi hip-hop sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And that was going to be the original idea for Jack. Oh. But then I kept, like, you know, staring at Fami Tracker and Delphi, Deffel Mask, you know, just beating into my skull, just like, what the fuck am I supposed to do here that will sound good? <sighs> so I had it rolling around in my head for the longest time. Then I stumbled onto Rainbow Dragon Eyes' music. Uh... And I started listening to it. Uh, it was the Primordial Booze was the specific album that I stumbled upon, which I actually have a signed copy of somewhere in my room. But, um, you know, I listened to it, and then it just clicked. And it even more so clicked because the... Uh, uh, Last year's MAGFest, Rainbow Dragon Eyes was performing because he was promoting um, he was promoting the messenger while he was there. Um, and I got to meet him. Uh, and over the course of that year, we exchanged emails. Um, he's been a really, you know, he's been a big help with my music and whatnot. And meme sentence exists uh, because of his inspiration. Which is, you know, mm -hmm. it's pretty, pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is pretty neat. Uh, hmm. I'm having, like, personally, I, I'm never good at um being consistent with the, like, style of music that I release. <laughs> I don't think anybody has been yeah. consistent, really. Because hmm. I'm going to bring up Nanode again. Nanode is so far from chiptune. Glantai, too. Like, uh, Glenn and Nanode, they're both, you know, not really doing chiptune anymore, which is oh. you know, fine for them. Because what they're doing is fantastic. Um, Glenn, I know, still, like, does chiptune stuff every now and again. He's mm -hmm. made music with my uh, Materia Collective. You know, stuff like that. Pretty, yeah. pretty great A stuff. And, and Nano just go, went, you know... Full on Porter Robinson esque music, except I would say his music is a hell of a lot better than Porter Robinson. <laughs> oh, sweet. Um, but yeah, no. It, we as chip tune artists evolve. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we we grow and we learn from our experiences and then some of us stay in the chiptune you know community and they get big on it or other people go off and do like their own little thing with other different types of music and whatnot yeah it's like it's like graduating from college, <laughs> you know, without the debt. <laughs> without the debt? <laughs> the chiptune uh, community is just college without debt? Who wouldn't want to stay in the like, chiptune community? <laughs> I'm kidding. It's like a, it's um, like a frat, like live shows are a yeah. frat party. Mm -hmm. I will absolutely say that. Uh, game face show... <laughs> The lovely chiptune guys over in the UK. Um, you know, wonderful people. Wonderful guys. The British people know how to fucking party. <laughs> uh, I remember that was the biggest gig that I ever did. Not because 
of like the room size or anything like that. But just because mm-hmm. I got to travel to another country, and I did that with Fuzzy Proxy, and it was great. We we both had a great time. You know, Game Face took very good care of us over the the course of the the five days we were there. Mm-hmm. And we had a lot of fun. It was it was a it was a lot of fun. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So the nice thing about Chiptune is that you get to travel too. Traveling's mm-hmm. always nice. Hmm. That sounds kind of unexpected. I don't know. I didn't know people would like um I didn't know people just, like, moved around so much to, like, perform chiptune, actually. Like, I knew that it happened within America, but I thought, like, the sum of it was mostly, um, like, going to MAGFest. Although I did see, like, just in New York, there are a lot of people, like, coming in from all over to perform. Yeah. I didn't get to go to that one, but, like... I yeah. would say, um, uh, you know... I would say... Chiptune as a community is somewhat a thing here. Over in the UK, it is much larger, and like, oh, wow. yeah, even in other parts of Europe, it is like it's a way bigger scene. Because I don't know what it is about the British and Europeans, but they just love that kind of stuff. Uh, it's it like, like a the, uh... so much bigger. I I would say I know more people in the chiptune community who comes from that part of the world than I do mm-hmm. uh, in America. You know. Huh. And, you yeah, know, I guess you know, that makes sense. Uh, you know, when I when people, I think of the and sometimes we get UK artists who come, you know, who come here. You know, to perform and whatnot and promote uh, their new albums. Speaking of new albums. <laughs> we, keep, we keep doing that. Speaking of new albums. We should, uh. Can I, can I let loose a, a little secret? Ooh. A, l- a little. All right. A little, a little, a little... secrety secret? Ooh, I wanna hear secrets. I have another new album. Ooh, what a secret. That, that Just, will, like, that say will, that secret into the YouTube channel. That, that <laughs> will also be uh, re- published by you, hopefully. Hopefully. P- please publish my That'd album. We didn't discuss this yet. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. Yeah, sure. I mean, I, I'd like to hear about it and everything, of course, first. But, like, uh, it's, a, it's a tentative yes. <laughs> it's a... Uh... It is another, uh, it's an original chip metal album. Mm-hmm. Uh, meme sentence was sort of jokey metal. We're going full on black metal. Oof. Uh, I bet Tris would like that. Sym- symphonic black metal. Wow. Made in, made entirely in Duffel Mask, except for one song. Oof. Maybe two. Sweet. But, uh, the song, uh, the album's called Blood Moon Rat. Mm-hmm. As for a release date, uh, follow me on uh, Jack Chiptune on my Twitter, and maybe you'll see something... Follow Jack. Soon. <laughs> Whether or not you want to listen to black metal chiptune, and you should, <laughs> follow Jack. There's a lot to offer. Try not to put the accidentally the follow YouTube. the porn put account unless you really put want to. Put it right down there. Smash the subscribe button. <laughs> Just punch it. <laughs> punch it so hard it wails. That you've never heard a follow button wail. I did and when I subscribed to Jack on Twits. <laughs> it was a dying bird that screamed, Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> but it tweeted it. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta smash subscribe button. Give me money. <laughs> um, this whole podcast is just give Jack money and subscribe to all of us. Please. 
<laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Glenn Ty might be on there. Mm hmm. Daya might be on there. Yeah. That is a Daya a prob uh, a, 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 a more of a. Mm, mm, I I can't I can't say anything. I I actually can't say it because if I say it and it doesn't happen, then I just fucked myself over. <laughs> <laughs> and I want it to happen, so I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because if I keep saying it, then it's then it, 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 if if it doesn't happen, then I just look like a boo boo the fool. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of like that too. Like I, I said all this stuff about a magazine, and now I need to make it happen. <laughs> mm. I mean, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I expect that's to. the artist's it's curse, just, it, right? Huh? Just. Uh, this could apply for like my own my own like quote unquote job. Mm -hmm. Uh, but like when I get a commissioner to be like, "Hey, uh, are you gonna start working on my commission yet? I'll start it tomorrow." Okay. Tomorrow happens. I didn't work on the commission. Hey, you said you're gonna work on my commission today. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That, that is just... We, we try to set ourselves deadlines. Mm -hmm. And then we don't do them. And then it just doesn't fucking happen. <laughs> yeah. So, any up-and-coming artists... Chiptune, EDM, metal, whatever it is... If you are making anything... Do not... Give yourself a hard deadline. A suggested deadline? Okay. Because that will probably help you organize your workflow and stuff like that. A hard deadline? No, 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 no. Yeah. Because then you are going to rush yourself and put out a crappy product that you won't be proud of. Yeah. DJ is weird. Alice DJ, I've heard. Uh, because it, it's not like a normal. Because how are you gonna put like drum file, like drum, drums, uh, like sounds, onto a Game Boy? You know, that's that's the especially the weird part. Huh? Yeah. What do you mean by that? Like um. Like, when I first, like, started learning Family Tracker, I did not know how to use the, um, the sampler or whatever. So I would just, like, make journals with that, and I got pretty good at it. I, I've heard it's way different with LSDJ, though. You can't do that in LSDJ. Because the Game Boy itself is already, like... It's so limited in what you can do. Mm -hmm. You can't have four channels. You have tables, you have, um, you have tables for, like, your volume, uh, uh, your, uh, your, um, wave control and stuff like that. All the, all mm -hmm. these different triggers and stuff like that, and the, and the way that the tracker is formatted... Isn't like Family Tracker at all. Uh, you know how you have um, in in Family Tracker. You know how you have like uh, you have your your columns like right center of the screen, and at the top left you have the pattern. Yeah. Uh, numbers and whatnot. Yeah. If you've seen LSDJ, you know that that's that pattern window is the main screen for LSDJ. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like, um, because you're, like, because you're programming for the NES on a computer, so 
it can like has a ability to have all that stuff on it but then when you're programming for the game boy on the handheld device game boy <laughs> then it gets a lot more complicated is that what you're saying yeah yeah because everything has to be like displayed separately kind of all right uh but yeah is that i i just don't i just don't know i i know a lot of people who can do it glentai does mm-hmm. it um Rainbow Dragon Eyes again. He uses LSDJ. He uses Deffel Mask too. Um, uh, and and I, I've tried it. I've tried it. I have two Game Boys. Uh, both of them are custom made. Um, and I've you know I've, I've tried tried dabbling with them. Tried figuring them out. I just, I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> It's weird. It is admittedly weird, but, you know, I'm not complaining, so... I'm an official member of this group. Ooh. You mean you mean a bit of chiptune group? Yeah. Yeah. That that was made official uh, after um, it was made official after Marshmallow Bits, and we haven't actually I actually haven't made a confirmation about that. So uh, thank you <laughs> yeah. for that. <laughs> um. We talked about muscle wizards. Uh, any idea for for your audience? What any idea uh, when that's going to um, be? Yeah, I think. When will we get the first? I think. Uh, hmm. I, one thing I want to do is sort of just like expose little bits and pieces to the audience. I think the the situation is right now that, um, in terms of like the social media and the everything, it's all kind of run by me right now. And that's a problem because I'm I'm just not naturally a person who does social media. Um, mm. So. I mean, if you're willing to pay somebody <laughs> to be your social media guy. Eh, I don't I don't know I, I don't I'm not made of money is also the situation you know I'm a. I will take five dollars per tweet. <laughs> How many, how many words he can even put in a tweet? <laughs> 140, 140 or whatever. That's like um. The hundred and seven. Like a hundred. That's like the characters. Is it like from 140. What is it like a dollar per like yeah. ten characters? I don't need. <laughs> no, just five, five dollars tweet. a tweet. Um, <laughs> I'm like. Just be like. Just be like, hey, my guy, just make a tweet for today. Just make two tweets, I'll give you $10. Okay. <laughs> there you go. It's done, done. You just really else? need money, that's all. <laughs> Please! I'm gonna... We're dying I'm going to link. I can't, I'm going to link I can, your... Uh, I cannot fend for my rent. Your Patreon better. on this video. I, I, Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to. You need it. <laughs> I can't, I can't I need to feed my mm-hmm. rat children Please <laughs> I have 20 of them That's how rats are They make a lot of babies You're in a, you're in a pickle All of them ask me All of them ask me Dad, why are you like 5 foot 4 But we're like only an inch And then I just say Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> And then you put them to bed I put them to bed. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, speaking of that, so we talked about muscle. Um, I was like thinking, just like, as we gather data and we become connected with things, and if we start to grow an audience, it might be fun to like try to get um connected with just groups who are in demand for chip music. So like. If if getting money is something that interests you, based off of making music, 
maybe I could like figure out a commission system for that. I don't know. Um, I think what's really interesting is that you, how I've seen how people like spread it around mm-hmm. chiptune more. Like, jokes aside about monetary, you know, shit and finances and whatnot. Um, you know, DJ Cutman, he would originally do This Week mm-hmm. Chip Tune for YouTube, and it would be like a weekly stream of chip mixes and whatnot. Uh, which I was on like three episodes of. Um, but, but now he's moved it to Spotify. Which I think is really, uh, which is uh, uh, what I think is really helpful, yeah. because um, you know, people will just hear that. People will like hear that music, and, and you know, listen to it. Um, you know, and and it'll be available to them, because Spotify is just really easy to have. I think almost a big chunk of everybody just has yeah. it now. And not only that, but people who listen to the music in the in the playlist mix and whatnot, the artist will get uh, uh, will get the revenue from it. Right. Which is also a big plus. I need so, to figure out how to. Um, I think I think I need to really figure cool. out how to get this podcast on Spotify too. I mean, I've been thinking about it, and I just don't know how to do it. I was thinking, huh, does Sounddrop do that? And then I was like, wait, no. Sounddrop, that doesn't seem like it's their thing. <laughs> um, I think I Really? That. Maybe I should just, like... Uh, yeah, I th- just, just upload it as a monthly... As a... Just upload it as a... Uh, uh, as a... Uh, 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 just upload it as a... Um, as a single or something like that, and then you can list, you know, podcast or something. Maybe, like that. I think I'm gonna email um like the whoever is running Soundtrop or whatever. I'm just gonna email that company and be like, hey, do you do podcasts? How do I do that? Um, yeah. Also, future casts, cut all <laughs> this out. <laughs> this is happening a lot. I need to really like pay attention to this recording later. Uh, go on. Okay. So back to the recap. We talked about me. We talked about uh, the history of chiptune and what we believe chiptune is. Did we? We've talked about uh, my new album that's coming out this Friday. Or uh, right now if you go on the Patreon. <laughs> yeah, you can just listen to it right now. You can download it right now. You only need to give me a dollar. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Please. You better be a certified big boy, though, because there's some porn on there. And if you ain't above 18, I don't want to get in trouble with your fucking parents. Just be like, why is this kid, why is my kid using my credit card? Oh, there's a bunch of furry shit on here. Get that. (laughs) Burn his laptop. I would have taken Fortnite V-Bucks, but this... But yeah, there's that. Uh, we talked about. Muscle and we talked Wishers. about your uh, other album, which you're gonna be working on. Uh, yes. Uh, I can even tell you the title right now: Blood Moon yeah. Rat. That'll come out in October. <gasps> Did you Did say a time? <laughs> what? Now you have to follow through. Just kidding. <laughs> Come out on the spooky month. Did I say that? I didn't oh. mean to say that. Oh, That's no. That's clever. I remember I, I was like, um, all right, we're going to do marshmallow bits back in December. And then it was like, oh, winter's kind of like over now when the release happened. I mean, it was still really cold. It was still appropriate, but like... <laughs> You know, you know what you did on Valentine's Day, though. Like you were very close to Valentine's ah. Day. So but I that think did that work out. out better. Just like something cozy while you're snuggling up with your uh, significant other. Especially with that song that yeah. I made that was just. It's very. Give everybody. That's fears. very um, catchy and fun to sing along to. Yeah. 
I was just thinking right before we recorded this, should the intro just be me singing that song <laughs> and then it fades into you? <laughs> Nah, the intro is going to be you weird noises into Mike. That's for sure. (laughs) (laughs) No, this is going to be the outro. Here we go. Hold on. Give me a second. Hold on. I got to grab it. I got to grab. I got to grab a thing. I got I got I got Here we go. Outro. Yeah. I got to I got to grab this thing. Okay. Uh, alright. Here we go. This this will be the funny bit that it's podcast. That's okay. Uh, uh. So go go ahead and like say your socials or what? Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't do, even do care. Um, thing. everything for a bit of chiptune is basically just at a bit of chiptune, and everything for me is Cass. Uh, what even is my social? <laughs> just look up a bit of chiptune, and it's basically just a bit of chiptune all around. Are we ready for um your? Here we go. Screw you, Jimmy.